I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, that which is, that which was, and that which is to come. Revelations 1 to 8 that quote describes life, not an old man in the sky, or a god that looks human. You are destroying the word of God through your traditions that you have handed down. Mark 7:13. In other words, the Bible says traditional religions destroy the truth of God. The Bible is central to the Christian religion, but they don't see what it says. What if the Bible and other religious books are being misinterpreted? What if the truth is in the Bible and many other religious books, but no one can see what it is? This book uses science, philosophy, religion, art and inspiration to reveal the unseen truth. It shows that most of the great prophets, philosophers, and poets are saying the same thing, but almost no one knows what it is. Jesus is saying something completely different than what Christians think. Religious books are not just filled with myths and morality tales as many people believe. The truth is in them, they are just being misinterpreted by religions. The new interpretation will be the best thing that ever happened to religion. Religions will make sense, and people will be able to understand them for the first time. This will make religions much more popular than they have ever been. Traditional religions will not change, people will just see the truth in them. Religion without the truth is like a light bulb without electricity. With the truth, religions will be reborn, and there will be an explosion in spiritual growth. Religions will no longer be based just on blind faith. Just the truth, the truth about life and death can be explained without any reference to religion. And some people may prefer that, but more than half of the human race is involved in a religion. Thus, to be the ultimate explanation of the truth, it must include religion, all religions. This is the only way to unite us all. Newton, Einstein, and Tesla were the greatest scientists and were mystics. Science and religion have different pieces to the puzzle of life, and people need both to learn the ultimate truth of life. This book unites them for the first time. Science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. Albert Einstein You do not have to be smart to know the truth. But you do have to be rational, be honest, and know a few things that could not be known until now. The word apocalypse means to unveil, not the end of the world. The meaning of the apocalypse is the opposite of what most people think. It does not mean the end of the world, it means the revealing of hidden secrets and the beginning of the heaven on earth. The apocalypse is starting now. Many things are the opposite, the mirror image, of what people think. For example, people think it is the context surrounding a statement that reveals the meaning of the statement, and that is true with normal books. With the Bible, the opposite is true. The context hides the meaning. You have to dig through a lot of rock before you find the nuggets of gold that the rock contains. Jesus said, when the outer has become as the inner, 
and the lower as the upper, then will this world find peace. Unless ye make the things of the right hand as those of the left, and those of the left as those of the right, and those that are above as those below, and those that are behind as those that are before, ye shall not have knowledge of the kingdom. Acts of Peter 38 Peter was given the keys to the kingdom, the quote above is the key. This book contains a new and different interpretation of the Bible, but it is not just about religion. It is about the truth, the kind of truth you can check. It is all new, all true, and it reveals the best possible news. An open mind is required. New and different revelations are not easy to accept. Do not let the things you disagree with stop you from reading further. Many of the things you do not agree with or understand when you first read them will make sense later in the book. Sometimes people hold a core belief that is very strong. When they are presented with evidence that works against the belief, the new evidence cannot be accepted. It would create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable, called cognitive dissonance. And because it is so important to protect the core belief, they will rationalize, ignore and even deny anything that doesn't fit in with the core belief. Franz Fanon Cognitive Dissonance, get to know these two words. It is the unseen enemy of mankind. It does more to cause war, crime and suffering than anything else, because it prevents people from learning and changing. If you are ready to overcome your cognitive dissonance and learn the truth of life, keep reading. Save everyone, it is important to understand we do not want to hurt anyone or anything. We want to fix people and institutions that are flawed, that are sick and infected with BS. We just have the medicine, the cure. We want everyone to get better, especially the bad guys. We are not anyone's enemy. We want to make love, not war. When the people living in the dog-eat-dog -dog animal world, playing the power game, the get rich and famous game, see the truth of life, they will realize that they are their own worst enemy. They will change, because it is in their best interest to change. They will change for selfish reasons which is fine as long as they see the truth of life and get on the path to a paradise on earth. The word sin means to miss the mark. It has nothing to do with breaking religious or moral rules. The only thing you can do against God, life is shut the truth and the life out, and just about everyone is currently doing that. Shutting out the truth and the life is the only way you can miss the mark, the only way you can sin. The worst sin has to be not learning the truth of life while you can. The truth and the life has to be God, so people that ignore the truth or give other things priority are saying by their actions and their desires that they do not want to know God. That has to be the greatest sin. True or false? Section 2 Introduction The accepted, but false interpretation of the Bible in a nutshell is the following, a God that looks like a man created the earth and the rest of the universe in six days, less than 10,000 years ago. He rested on the seventh. He then created man and woman, Adam and Eve, 
and they lived happily in the Garden of Eden. The problem was that he also created an angel that turned on him. The angel, disguised as a snake, talked Eve into talking Adam into eating some fruit that God told them not to eat. Adam took a bite, so God kicked them out of paradise and cursed them and all their descendants, including us. About 4500 years ago, God got fed up with mankind and drowned all land animals, except for one family and two of all land animals on earth. What about the plants? By loading them all on one boat they built. Their descendants repopulated the planet, but mankind was still damned. The New Testament of the Bible says that God sent his only begotten Son, Jesus, who was also God to earth to make an appearance and to show people the way. After doing some miracles and preaching for three years, he found twelve people. He then sacrificed himself to his father in order to save us from the curse he put on us for what Adam and Eve did, but we were still cursed. God sacrificed himself, to himself, to remove the curse he put on us. Three days later, Jesus came out of his grave, had something to eat, told a few followers he was going to heaven, and then left. Though the Bible says Jesus died for our sins, we somehow still have them. The only way we can escape this curse, original sin, is to believe the story above is true and worship this God. If we do not, we spend an eternity burning in a fire. Metaphorical some people say the Bible is metaphorical and not literal truth. They are right about parts of it, but they do not know what the metaphors mean. This book says the truth is in the Bible, it just says most of the story above is not true and not what the Bible is about. The Bible reveals the truth and makes complete sense when interpreted correctly. In the past, prophets and seers of the truth tried to tell people what the truth was, but the people they told did not understand them. This resulted in the creation of religions that hide the truth that they are supposed to reveal. What the prophets said was misunderstood distorted, and turned into myths. Jesus said, I tell you the truth when I say that even those who follow the prophets do not understand them, for they speak of the things of the spirit, which cannot be apprehended by the physical mind. A few things the prophets said survived their followers and reveal the truth. The problem is, Almost no one knows what the truth is. People believe in the myths and do not see the truth they contain. Now we can know what the prophets were really saying, and we owe it to the prophets of the past and ourselves to correct the misinterpretations. For the first time, we can know what they really said and meant. This book is that long delayed, but always expected, true explanation. Most of the Bible and other old religious books are the interpretations, opinions, and the bias of many different uninspired people, and not what Jesus and other inspired prophets actually said or meant. The brutal emperors of Rome and the corrupt councils they controlled created the official Bible. It was created to serve their political agenda, which began in 325 AD with Constantine and the Council of Nicaea. 
It was created by the enemies of Christianity, the people who killed Jesus and tried to destroy the religion. Billions of people believe in a book created by corrupt people. It was not created to enlighten people, it was created to control people. This is when Christianity sold its soul. The truth has been hidden. Know the truth, most of the misinterpretations and distortions of what a prophet said in ancient times happened before it was written down. What they said was passed down by word of mouth from one person to another. This way of passing down sayings and stories will always change them, sometimes completely. This is especially true with primitive people in ancient times. Back then, people could not understand the truth, so what a prophet said was turned into myths as it was passed down. Even after they were written down, they continued to be misinterpreted and distorted during translations from one language to another. Most of what Jesus said was never even written down in the language he spoke. The early interpreters did not know the truth. To interpret what a prophet says, you have to know the truth. In the past, almost no one could know the truth. Now, almost everyone can. Mankind has finally progressed enough to see it clearly. Jesus said, whoever finds the correct interpretation of what I am saying will find eternal life. When people see what Jesus is really saying, they will also be able to see what all other enlightened philosophers, prophets and poets are really saying. 2 plus 2 equals 4, it does not equal anything else. The truth is, there is only one truth. Believing 2 plus 2 equals 5 or 6 or anything else does not make it true. There are an infinite amount of wrong answers, but only one true answer. Truth is what stands the test of experience. Albert Einstein The Rorsch Arc Inkblot test is that inkblot that psychologists show to people, asking them what they see. Everyone will see something different depending on what their imagination comes up with. The truth is, it is an inkblot that is the only true answer. A man should look for what is and not for what he thinks should be. Albert Einstein Make believe, I do not play make believe in real life, but billions of grown people do and say it is the truth. I no longer believe in Santa Claus and the other myths, legends, and fairy tales the known evidence says are not true. Common denominator, the truth is the only thing that can unite all human beings. It is what we all have in common, and that will never change. There is only one sky for all of us. Everyone eats, breathes, is born and dies, etc. The ultimate truth is universal truth, it is the same for everyone, everywhere, and it always has been and always will be. We have to see the big picture of life. If everyone looked at the big picture of life, we would see the same thing. This simple thing would unite human beings, and we would live in paradise. The difference between knowing and not knowing is checking. Nothing could be more simple. 
If you care enough about the truth to check what it is, you will know the truth of life. The sad truth is, most people do not care, and mankind and our world are being destroyed as a result. If you care, now is the time to prove it. Only the truth can stop the wars and make the world the paradise it can be. Reason, we can now use our ability to reason, deductive logic, and extrapolation of the known evidence to know and understand things that the evidence does not reveal directly, such as life after death. We have progressed enough to know and understand the fundamental truth of life. It will transform us in our world. Scholarly, I am not a good writer or a scholar, as you no doubt have noticed, but most prophets were not good writers or scholars. This book will not be sophisticated enough for many intellectuals, but most people are not intellectuals. The truth has to be explained in a simple, unsophisticated way, or else kids and the most people will not understand it. The truth is for everyone, not just intellectuals. Books are to be distinguished by the grandeur of their topics. Henry David Thoreau I am dyslexic and I make some mistakes in grammar, but the content is correct. That said, this book is much easier to read than most books on the subject. Jesus said, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Because you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you don't enter in yourselves, neither do you allow those who are entering in to enter. The scribes were the writers and scholars in ancient times. The Pharisees were the religious leaders. They believed in a dogma that made them closed-minded. Most religious and philosophical scholars are not inspired people. They just take other people's inspirations and write about them in a scholarly way. What they do not understand, they distort or misinterpret. All the big words, footnotes and perfect grammar make them look like real authorities on a subject. The opposite is true when it comes to religious truth. Scholars have not known what they have been talking about, thus, they have been and are now a force against the truth. Most religious leaders are well-intentioned. They toe the line and fight any change in the status quo, but in doing, they perpetuate the misinterpretations. Scholars are of the mind. Prophets and other inspired people are dealing with something beyond the mind, which means they see life in completely different ways. Scholars are not bad people, but they do not see the world a prophet sees. Jesus said, Show me the stone which the builders have rejected. That stone is the cornerstone. In other words, the rejected or unseen truth is the actual truth. Great spirits are always opposed by mediocre minds. Albert Einstein All great truths begin as blasphemies. George Bernard Shaw Anyone that says anything different from the accepted myths of religion is labeled a blasphemer. Jesus was a blasphemer in his time and executed for being one. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, 
it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as being self-evident. Arthur Schopenhauer Repetition, you will notice many things are repeated in this book. If something is repeated, it makes a bigger impression and changes your brain more, changes your inner environment more. Thus, the more repetition, the better. That is why I repeat some things many times and say the same thing many different ways. As a single footstep will not make a path on the earth, so a single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. To make a deep mental path, we must think over and over the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. Henry David Thoreau I am giving it to you the same way it was given to me. The ultimate truth is like a combination to a lock, it has to be in a certain order, and you need all of it to open the gate to true life. The truth is just what it looks like it is, the problem is, people can't see clearly. Jesus said, the hour is coming when I will not speak to you in dark sayings, but will tell you plainly about God. Jesus said, he who drinks from my mouth will become as I am and I will become he and the hidden things will be revealed to him. Hidden things following are the correct interpretations and the hidden things, Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it abundantly. Abundant life, you get a little taste of it when you see a beautiful waterfall, a sunset, make a great golf shot, ride a roller coaster, a first kiss, etc. Peak moments in your life feel good because you get a larger percentage of what each moment of life actually contains. Abundant life equals true life. True religion is real living. Albert Einstein People in the past did not know what Jesus meant by abundant life, so they turned around its literal meaning interpreting it to mean a life of abundance. Many preachers use this to justify getting rich and having an abundance of possessions. Misinterpretation leads people in the wrong direction. Your mind is the gatekeeper of life. Sometimes it lets a little true life in, but most of the time it doesn't. You can only see the truth when it lets all of life in. Figure 1 shows how mankind currently perceives life. Figure 2 shows true life. The arrows represent life coming to you from all directions. The dotted line shows how your mind blocks most of the life coming to you. Without the mind blocking life, you receive all of life, abundant life, true life, and reflect it all back out. Halos, this is why the saints and prophets in paintings are shown with a halo. It illustrates their radiance, they radiated life as shown in figure 2 of the drawing. Seeing Niagara Falls or the Grand Canyon for the first time is a peak moment for most people. Why does it make you feel so alive? Nothing really happens to you. Why doesn't it feel as good the second time you see it? The reason is, your mind opens up when something is new or special. It's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. Thoreau the truth is, every moment of life is special, 
and you can be completely open to life most of the time. You have to see the truth to see true life. This is the truth. Section 3 The Ultimate Truth The Bible says, the gift of God is eternal life. The mortality, it's impossible to be conscious of being unconscious. You are reading this book, so you are conscious, alive. This means you have always been conscious and always will be, because it is not possible for you to be aware of being dead, unconscious. You cannot be aware of not being aware, you cannot be conscious of being unconscious. You can be less conscious, sleep slash coma, but not completely unconscious, because time would stand still for you. A billion years could pass, and you would not know it. You cannot be aware of any gaps in life. It is continuous and never-ending from your own point of view. You are immortal, because it is impossible for you not to be. No cognizance is taken of the lapse of time after a person becomes unconscious in death. Ick. 9 to 5, Ps. 146 to 4. Have you ever experienced anything other than life? You haven't, because you cannot experience anything else, anything you experience is life. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, and consciousness cannot be created or destroyed for the same reason. It changes form. You cannot make nothing out of something. If you are conscious of life now, you are something. Your body is just a very temporary mortal container for your immortal consciousness. The deductive logic above reveals that we are not our bodies. We know our bodies die, and we know consciousness cannot, thus our consciousness, what we are, cannot be our bodies. The Bible calls it our spirit or soul. You will die physically, but you will be born again, being born happens, or you would not be here now. You were born into this life. It is what we know happens for certain to everyone living. There is no evidence anything else happens. Why would we think anything else happens or even can happen? People are playing make-believe. We are dealing with time and space that never ends. If we were born once, it will happen again, things repeat in nature. The only question is where, when, and what you will be reborn as, and we can know that too. Consciousness, people are trying to understand the universe independent of consciousness, life, and it is the most important factor in the equation. Physics has been dead since Einstein. Even if the people that are involved in the science of physics could understand the universe independent of life, it would not matter, because it will not change mankind in a fundamental way and that is the only thing that will make a real difference. People are spending billions of dollars on theoretic physics, and it is not going to change anything in a fundamental way for mankind. They have high hopes for a new multi-billion dollar particle collider. They may learn something, but it will not change mankind. Life has to be in the equation to know the ultimate truth. The universe as it relates to conscious life can be understood now. 
It is the ultimate truth, the truth that will transform mankind in the world. Animals are conscious, alive with or without a rational, thinking mind. Many people think human beings are the only animal that is conscious. Is a dog or cat conscious? Where do you draw the line? Is a bird conscious? The truth is that all animal life is conscious and alive just like us. The only thing that makes humans different from other animals is that we have a mind that can think and reason to high enough level to know the truth of life, and those that know rise above animals. Intelligent design and evolution both happened. Our true history, the hard evidence says we human beings, Homo sapiens, evolved from other animals. There is very little physical difference between us and other animals. We have blood, bones, hearts, brains, skin and DNA in common. We behaved like them until just recently, and some people still do. In addition to the evidence we have been digging up all over the world, our new understanding of the genetic code allows us to see where every animal came from and is now on the evolutionary ladder. There is no missing link now. Crown of creation, evolution is no longer just a theory, it has been proven true beyond a reasonable doubt. The problem is, even people who believe evolution is true disassociate themselves from the process. They somehow skipped all the lower forms of animal life and just started out as the crown of creation at the top of the evolutionary ladder. The evidence says that we evolved as life evolved. In other words, you were a microbe, an insect a fish, a dinosaur, an ape. You had to be lower animals to be a human now, just as you had to be a baby to be an adult now. Someone has to be all the other types of animals. A consciousness, spirit, is in other animals. Other animals are alive just as you are, and you know it. The you only live once theory, many people say that they do not believe in reincarnation, they believe when you die, you're dead. What about fish, clams, horses, bears, flies? People that say you only live once are saying some souls get to live just one life as a worm, and that is it for all of eternity. Other people believe you are judged by a god after you die. Is the worm judged? It is time to see and accept the truth the evidence supports. There is no point in denying the truth, it does not go away. The truth is the truth. When there is overwhelming evidence that something happened or did not happen, it is the truth beyond a reasonable doubt to an honest and rational people. Truth will have no gods before it. Friedrich Nietzsche If our courts of law ignored the evidence the way religions do, we would still be living in a jungle. If doctors and hospitals did it, we would not go to the hospital. The evidence equals the truth. Religions say the truth is the way, but ignore it. We convict people of crimes, sentence them to life in prison, and even execute them based on the evidence. We acknowledge that the evidence reveals the truth in every area of life except religion. 
The apocalypse is going to change that. It is the truth that makes the law and medicine work. For religions to work the way that they promise to, they must also be based on the truth. It is the reason why Jesus uses the word truth more than any other word. Jesus said, I came into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. John 18.37 The Bible says religion must be founded on rock. It is a metaphor meaning that religions must be founded on the truth, because it is as solid as a rock. Why would someone else have to be all the other animal life and not us? Why would we just appear on earth now at the top when life is good? Do you really think someone else had to live through all the tough times of the past so that we could just show up and enjoy the fruits at the end? Does that make sense? Arrogance, if you believe what the Bible says is true, you cannot believe we just appeared. The Bible says God is fair, so either the past did not happen, or we evolved. It also says not to be arrogant, that pride comes before a fall, and believing that we are separate from the rest of creation is pure arrogance. It is time to see and accept the truth the evidence supports. We have come a very, very long way, but we have a little further to go. The next and last step in our evolution is learning and accepting the truth of life, and this includes acknowledging our true past. Jesus said, the truth makes you free. The ultimate truth frees us from the animal world we all evolved from. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. FAB equals FBA people do not realize what Isaac Newton's third law of motion really means. Everything is balanced. Everything physical, matter slash energy, goes back and forth in balanced circles, cycles, or the equivalent. Birth death, old young, big small, strong weak, start stop up down, rich poor, begin in gent, fast slow, hot cold, pain pleasure, win lose, day night, full empty, high low, in out, success failure, united divided, give receive, creation destruction, on off, positive negative, etc. Positive and negative forces moving in balance of the physical universe, Everything physical, matter slash energy, goes back and forth in balanced circles, cycles, or the equivalent. Even light and other forms of energy that appear to go straight out move up and down in balanced waves. The physical universe has to move in perfect balance to exist. Luck Good luck and bad luck are the balance in action and the way the balance most affects our lives. Luck is manifested on many levels. There is the day-to-day -day luck, from little things like getting a good parking space or a bad one, to big things, such as winning the lottery or finding out you have cancer. Then there is the long-term luck. You are lucky if you are born with good looks, money, health, talent and intelligence. You are unlucky if you are born unattractive, poor, sickly and without talent or intelligence. Most people are in between the extremes, but it does not matter, because we are immortal, and it will all balance out. Luck will move back and forth 
everyone will get equal amounts of good and bad luck. What goes around comes around. Everyone gets their turn. The eternal mixer, the balance is the result of everything moving around randomly. Example, if you take a jar filled with black and white grains of sand and you shake it, it will turn grey and mix perfectly, and no matter how long you shake it, the black and white grains of sand will always stay evenly mixed. Time and random movement will always create a perfect balance of all physical things. It is as certain as night and day, and why we have a night and a day. If you flip a coin a thousand times, it will come up heads about half the time and tails about half the time. The odds of random events are predictable. This is why Las Vegas always makes a profit on gambling year after year. You can see the truth if you look at the big picture. You will see that random events are predictable because they balance. It's a fundamental truth of life everyone knows, but ignores. This is why on the 4th of July, about 162 people will be killed in auto accidents, and every fourth, about the same amount are killed. An average of 12 auto accidents happen every minute, about 6,000 teenagers are killed in auto accidents every year in the US. About 4 million people are bitten by dogs per year. Why is the number about the same every year? Everything is determined, the beginning as well as the end, by forces over which we have no control. It is determined for insects as well as for the stars. Human beings, vegetables or cosmic dust, we all dance to a mysterious tune, intoned in the distance. Albert Einstein Destiny, not being in control does not mean our future is predestined. No one knows the future, the future cannot be known. Anything can happen. The only thing we can be certain of is that it will be balanced. The good news is, all of the best things are going to happen to you, the bad news is, so will all of the worst things, if you do not learn the truth. Death is the great equalizer, if you are born with advantages, you can have more good times than bad times in your life, but when you die, you are reborn with disadvantages, and have more bad times than good times and vice versa. In the long run, no one has it better or worse than anyone else does, because life will always balance eventually. It is the nature of the universe we are part of, the universe we can see. Religious books say life is fair, and it is the truth. Evolutionists are missing the intelligence behind it, the spiritual influence. Eastern religions, you may think that I am talking about something that sounds like Buddhism or Hinduism. Parts of the truth are found in all religions, including Buddhism and other Eastern religions, but they have also been distorted, misinterpreted, and misunderstood, just as the Bible has been. Eastern religions and philosophies do not work any better than the religions and philosophies of the West at revealing the ultimate truth. The truth in them has also been unseen by mankind, but it will be seen now by those who are ready to see it. For God gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. 
Matthew 5:45 Consequences People may think, if everything is balanced, then it does not matter what you do. That is true, if you want to continue living in the savage animal realm. If you want to evolve past the animal realm, to a realm where there is no fear, pain or death, you have to learn and spread the truth of life. You have to live as a spiritual being. If you live like an animal, you will continue to be one. Truth will have no gods before it. The belief in truth begins with the doubt of all truths in which one has previously believed. Friedrich Nietzsche Many Christians want to believe so badly they will ignore scientific evidence, reason, common sense and their own better judgment. Religions have perverted the meaning of the word truth. The Webster's Dictionary definition below says what the word means. Truth being in accord with fact or reality many things religious people say they believe are not in accord with fact or reality. They are myths, superstition, tradition, hope, not truth. To say it is truth is a lie. They are breaking one of the Ten Commandments, being dishonest hypocrites. They are deceivers doing the work of Satan. This needs to change. True or false? They think they are doing the will of God, but in truth, they are doing the will of the enemy of God, Satan, defined in the Bible as the great deceiver, the king of all lies. A deceiver is defined in the Bible as the devil, Satan. Jesus said he came to reveal the truth. Thus, to be a true Christian, follower of Christ, you have to know and tell the truth. It is not just religion that is doing Satan's will, it is chasing money, power and fame when it always ends in death. People leave with just the animal mind that they came into this life with, but they cannot see this until the last few minutes of their lives. Honestly, what do all the kings, dictators, and rich and famous people that lived and died in the past have now? Can you see the actual truth? If extreme pain and death were not real, the real truth would not matter, but they are real and they cannot be overcome without the real truth. You are going to die. Maybe today. This book makes you ready for it. The truth is absolutely necessary, the major religions of the world have been with mankind for a long time. They have not transformed mankind or the world as they are supposed to do and promise to do. People need to see the unseen truth in them for them to do what they are intended to do. There is no other way. Jesus said, People honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. They worship me in vain teaching the precepts and principles of men. The followers of Eastern religions are doing the same thing that the followers of Western religions are doing. They believe in the myths, rituals and traditions, and are blind to the truth they contain. Parts of the ultimate truth are in all of them. Christianity this book focuses mostly on the unseen truth in Western religions, primarily Christianity, but when you can see the truth in Christianity, you will be able to see it in all religions and everywhere else in life.
The truth is at the core of many myths and legends, especially when it comes to religious myths. Only the West has enough power, America and most of the Western world is Christian. The truth must be seen in Christianity before the world can change. As you can see from the graph on the previous page, most of the world believes in a religion, and Christianity is the largest. Christianity, being in the Western world, has most of the material wealth and power. That is why this book focuses on Christianity. The truth has to be seen in Christianity, or there is no hope for the human race. The obvious is that which is never seen until someone expresses it simply. Khalil Gibran Jesus said, that which is hidden from the wise and educated has been revealed unto the open-minded. Many educated people do not have open minds, and that is why they cannot see the truth as easily as people that are less educated, but more open-minded. The only thing that interferes with my learning is my education. Albert Einstein the truth about life is actually very simple, it is just hard to see for the first time. When the solution is simple, God is answering. Albert Einstein Life, it all boils down to how you feel from moment to moment, how often you feel good and how often you feel bad, and it will be balanced like everything else physical. Your infinite past was balanced, and your infinite future will be too, unless you change from a physical being into a spiritual being. To change into a spiritual being, you just have to know the truth. It changes your point of view and your perspective of life so that you can start to live your life as a spiritual being. Know it to do it. Our life does not have to be just 50-50 like the physical world, because our spiritual self, our immortal self, is not physical, and does not need to be balanced to exist. Our physical environment cannot fundamentally change, but we can. You just have to know it to do it. Nothing is going to make any real difference in your life except separating yourself from the balanced physical world. It can and will change everything. You separate yourself from the balance of physical life by seeing the truth. We just want the positive without the negative. It is so obvious. There is no other real goal possible that makes any difference. The truth reveals that you do not need to experience the bad to have the good. The bad will still happen, but you will perceive it differently. The spirit is the only thing in the universe that does not need to balance. The knowledge of the balance changes you. It leads to your transition into a spiritual being. Consequences Having knowledge of the balance does not remove all the consequences of behavior. The opposite is true, you are responsible. Jesus said, when you make the two one, you will be called sons of men. Good slash bad one of the ways to make the two one is as follows, you take the two sides of life, the good and bad sides, and see them as one whole. You do this by understanding what the balancing force means. It means that all bad times will pass and be compensated for by an equal amount of good times. 
It also means that all good times will pass and be paid for with an equal amount of bad times. When you know the truth, you will enjoy the good times more and still avoid a bad time when you can, but when you cannot, the knowledge of the balance helps you get through the bad times. This is because you know that the worst 